Hello, fourth grade. Please get out your module five, lesson four. It starts on page 113, so that way you can do the work following along with me while I'm teaching you the lesson. And then when we're all done, um, you'll be able to do the independent work, so that way you can get it sent to me. All right, so we are going to be multiplying using partial products, and we were kind of doing this same thing the last video, but I'm gonna show you a little bit different way to do it, so that way you don't have to Write out all the parentheses and, and things like that. So we are going to be able to record partial products to multiply a multi-digit number by a one-digit number. So we have the Monstrosity roller coaster, and it has seats for 136 riders. The roller coaster completes four runs each half hour. If all the seats on the roller coaster are filled each run, how many people can ride in a half an hour? So there's 136 riders that can fit on the roller coaster when it's full. And there are four runs every half an hour. So our multiplication problem would be four times 136. So there are a couple ways we could solve this. We could draw a picture, right? We could draw, we could do our base 10 blocks and draw a picture to figure it out. We could do area model to multiply to figure it out. Or we could do our partial products to multiply to figure it out. There's lots and lots of different ways that we could do this. I'm gonna start with the partial products because that's kind of where, where we're leading um, is when we were doing the distributive property. That's where we're, we're heading with this. So I know that I need to take four and I need to multiply each part of this place value, right? Each, each piece. So I know I'm going to need to do four times 100, right? Then I need to multiply, I'm gonna add that to four times my three in my tens place, which is 30. And then I need to multiply my four in my ones place, which is a six. So when I multiply four times 100, I e it equals 400. Four times 30 equals 120. And four times six equals 24. So I need to add all these up. I'm going to write them vertically because it's just easier to add vertically. I know some kids can do it horizontally and that's fine um, if you can, but I do like to change it to vertically because it just visually shows it better. So 0 plus 0 plus 4 equals 4. 0 plus 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 1 equals 5. So 544 people can ride the roller coaster in a half an hour. So now, what does that mean when we're talking partial products? Well, let's practice that here. So on Sunday, 264 people ride a carousel in the park. On Sunday, or sorry, on Saturday, did I say Sunday? We'll start over. On Saturday, 264 people ride a carousel in the park. On Sunday, three times as many people ride the carousel. How many people ride the carousel on a Sunday? So Saturday, 264 people ride the carousel. But on Sunday, three times as many people. So that means three times more people ride it than on Sunday, or than on Saturday. So to multiply, if we use our area model to help us out, we know that we're going to be multiplying 264 times three. So my three goes on the outside of my area model. And then I'm going to expand out my 264. So I have 200, I have 60, and I have 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my hundreds. What is 200 times 3? 200 times 3 equals 600. The next thing I'm going to do is multiply my tens. I have a 6 in the tens place. 60 times 3. 60 times 3. This is just so you can see a picture of it. 60 times 3 is 180. Then I'm going to multiply my 1s. 4 times 3. My 4 times my 3, which is 12. And then I can add my partial products. So instead of, so if I didn't have this picture here, I could do it like this, right? 200 times 3 is 600. 60 times 3 is 180. 4 times 3 is 12. So then 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 8 plus 1 is 9, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So there's 792 
people that rode the carousel on Sunday. So the, what is the first step for showing the problem in an area model? Well, the first step is to um, break apart our number, right? To get expanded form of 264. And then why do we multiply the hundreds first? Well, because when I do my area model, I multiply left to right, so it just seems like it's easier. It's also, by multiplying the hundreds first, it always gives my bigger number on top for when I'm adding. So my largest number will be on top when I add. And then how can you use place value to help you record the partial products and find the whole product? Well, by lining up each digit underneath one another by place value, it makes it easier to add. So lining, oops, sorry. Line up the numbers by place value. it easier to add. And then we are not doing this, it, how can you determine if your answer is reasonable? We are not going to be doing the estimating and the rounding. Um, I find it's one extra piece that we just, I don't like adding to. I just, I want you to be able to multiply these. And sometimes that causes a lot of extra stress on kiddos to have to do the estimate too. So I don't want to add extra work and extra stress to you. So we're just going to do the, the multiplication. So how many people rode the carousel on Sunday? 792. Alrighty. So we have a tree top academy and it's ordering notebooks for each of their 2,356 students. How many notebooks should they order? So it says right here they need four notebooks for each student. So Treetop Academy is ordering notebooks for each of their 2,365 students. So every student is going to get four notebooks. So our multiplication problem is going to be four times 2,356. And again, we're not doing the estimate. So let's do expanded form to break apart our number. So let's break apart our 2,356. So we have 2,000 plus 300 plus 50 plus 6. So remember, we're going to start with our greatest place value, and then we're going to multiply and go down. And everything's going to be multiplied by a 4. So I'm going to start with my 4 times my 2,000. So 4 times 2,000 equals 8,000. Then I'm going to multiply 4 times. I'm coming to my 3 in the hundreds place. So 4 times 300. 4 times 300 is, 4 times 3 is 12 with two zeros. So 1,200. Then I'm going to multiply 4 times my 5 in the tens place. 4 times 50. 4 times 5 is 20, but I have to add a 0 to the end, so it's 200. And then 4 times my ones place, which is a six. Four times six is 24. So now I'm gonna add them all up. Zero plus zero plus zero plus four is four. Zero plus zero plus zero plus two is two. Zero plus two plus two is four. And eight plus one is nine. So they, they need to order 4, 9,424 notebooks. And again, we're not doing the, is your answer reasonable? All right, so let's check for understanding. Let's do some practicing. So again, do not do the estimate. We're not even going to go there. So when you do do your homework, you do not have to do the estimate or the reasonable. So where do we start with 34 times 7? So I'm going to start, my 34 is a 30 plus a 4. So I'm going to start with my 30. What is 7 times 
30. Right? Because I'm multiplying everything times 7. Well, 3 times 7 is 21. And then a 0 on the end, right? Now I'm going to come to my 1's place. 7 times 4. What is 7 times 4? 28. 0 plus 8 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus nothing is 2. 238. 496 times 3. So again, we're going to start in our hundreds place. 3 times 400. What's 3 times 400? 1,200. Now to my tens place. 3 times 90. 3 times 90 is 270. Then to my ones place. 6 times 3, or 3 times 6, which is 18. And I'm going to add them all up. 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8. 0 plus 7 plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So we have 1,488. And number 3. So again, multiplying everything by 9. Starting in my thousands place. 2,000 or 9 times 2,000 or 2,000 times 9. 9 times 2 is 18, and then I need three zeros, so we've got 18,000. And remember, as you're writing your numbers, you're lining up your place values. Then I'm going to do 9 times, and I have a 5 in the hundreds place, so 9 times 500. 9 times 5 is 45 with two zeros, so 4,500. Then 9 times an 8 in the tens place, so 9 times 80. 9 times 80 is 72, so it would be, or sorry, it would be 72 is 9 times 8, and then 9 times 80 is 720. And then our last is one, 9 times 1, so that's a 9. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9 is 9. 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 plus 5 plus 7 is 12. Regroup my 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. Regroup my 1 and 2, so I have 23,229. All right, so now we're going to go to an, the on your own part. If you want to do this on your own, you can pause it and then come back to check your answers with me, or you can just stay right here with me and we'll do this together. Social studies. So in 1908, President Theodore Roosevelt declared the Grand Canyon in Arizona a national monument. By 1919, the Grand Canyon became a national park. Zach, Kate, Danny, and Quito take a trip to visit the Grand Canyon. How much does the trip cost to the four friends? So, it is $397 for each person, and there are four people going. So we're going to be multiplying 397 times four, and I'm gonna get my lined paper out here again. So you can either try to do it on the side here, or if you wanna do it on a separate sheet of paper, that's fine as well. So we have 397 times so I'm going to start in my hundreds place. I have a 300, and I'm going to be multiplying everything times 4. So 300 times 4, or 4 times 300. 4 times 3 is 12, and then I have two zeros, so 1,200. Moving to my 9. My 9's in the tens place, so I have 4 times 90. 4 times 9 is 36, and then I have a 0 on the end, so 360. And now to my 1's place, which is a 7, so 4 times 7. 4 times 7 equals 28. And I'm going to add them all up. 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8. 0 plus 6 plus 2 is 8. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 1 plus nothing is 1. So it's going to cost them $1,588 to visit the can Grand Canyon. Okay. All right. We are going to um, multiply again. We're not doing the estimate. We're just straight multiplying. So I want to see if we can do some of these without writing on the side what we're going to be multiplying. We should be able to look at them and be able to tell what we're going to multiply. So if we have a 5 
in our tens place and we're multiplying everything by 8. So 5 in our tens place is a 50. 50 times 8 is 400. And then I have a 7 in the ones place, or you could write it if you want, 8 times 50, whatever is easier for you. And then 7 times 8 is, or 8 times 7, 7 times 8, 56. So 456. Sorry, my chair is extremely squeaky. Okay, everything's being multiplied by 6 for this one. We're starting in the hundreds place. So we have a 2 in the hundreds place. 200 times 6. So 2 times 6 is 12, and then I have two zeros. Right? 6 times 200. Then I move to my tens place, and I have 6 times 90. 9 times 6 is 54, and then I have one zero in my ones place. And then I move to my ones place. I've got 6 times 1. Easy peasy enough is a 6. And I'm going to add it all together. 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 4 is 4. 2 plus 5 is 7. And then 1, 1,746. 3,684 times 5. So, sorry, we're multiplying everything by 5, and we are starting with our thousands, so 3,000 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15, and I said it was 3,000 times 5, right, or 5 times 3,000, so I need 3 zeros, so 15,000. Now we're in the hundreds place, so we've got 600, 5 times 600. 6 times 5 is 30, with two zeros on the end, so that's a total of four zeros with 3,000. Now we're in the tens place, which is an 8, so 5 times 80, so I have 8 tens. 8 times 5 is 40, and then a zero at the end, so we have 400. And then 4 times 5, or 5 times 4, which is 20. So let's add it all together. All of those zeros will equal a zero. Three zeros and a two will be two. Two zeros and a four will be four. Five plus three is eight. And then the one. So 18,420. Alrighty, number eight. Again, we're not estimating. We're gonna rewrite these vertically. So it would be 195 times three. So that way we can multiply it appropriately by having it vertical. So my hundreds place, I have a 100. So 3 times 100 is 300. I've got a 9 in the tens place. So 3 times 90. 3 times 9 is 27. Put a 0 on the end. It's 270. Remember, this is why it is so important to have those multiplication facts memorized. And 5 times 3, or 3 times 5, is 15. Add it all together. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 7 plus 1 is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. So 585. Now we're going to rewrite this vertically. 76 times 9. So we're going to start in our tens place, and we've got a 7. So we've got 9 times 70. So 9 times 7 is... 63 with a 0 on the end, so 630. Then we go to our 1's place, so 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54. Add these together. 0 plus 4 is 4. 3 plus 5 is 8. 684. And our very last one, write it vertically, 2,408 times 7. All right, so we're going to start in our thousands place. We have, I'm going to kind of write it over here, 7 times 2,000, because I can't really fit it over here. So 7 times 2,000 is 14,000. 7 times 2 is 14 with three zeros. Now our hundreds place is a 400, so 7 times 400. 7 times 4 is 28 with two zeros, so 2,800. So 2,800. We have a zero in our tens place. So anything times zero is zero. So we're just going to leave that one blank. And then we've got our seven times our eight. Seven times eight is 56. 
0 plus 0 is 6 is 6, 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 8 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 1 plus nothing is 1. So we have 16,856. So you're going to have lots to practice on your independent worksheet. Do not do the estimate part. So like on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, do not do the estimate part. Um... I'm not going to have you do number eight, so you don't have to estimate, you don't have to do number eight, and that's good. So do not estimate on the first page, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can skip number eight, you can cross off number eight completely, okay? So go ahead and get the front and the back of that paper done and make sure that I get a copy of it either sent to me or the whole thing just dropped off at school um, so that way I can get some grades in the book for you guys. Alrighty, I've got one more video for you. Thank you very much. I will see you soon.